so far love it the meal we just had was amazing so it'd be really hard to top that in any of the other ones so yeah um had, had the most amazing first day the children are a bit sunburned which is we have put sun cream on them all day um yeah anyway i'm blabbing on had an amazing first day and we shall see you guys over the next couple of days
This is Isla's second one. She didn't like the first one, did you, Isla? Are you happy now? Look at that face. <laughs> Third full day. I got quite tired this morning. Um, I've got up and gone to the gym this morning. Um, it was really nice, but I don't think the air conditioning worked that well. So it was really, really hot. It was like 28 degrees at like seven o'clock this morning. Super, super warm. I have just woken everyone up because we haven't been getting up until like 10, half 10, and then like we're almost missing breakfast, missing like the best part of the day. And we're also going to try and get a sun lounger on the beach today. So we'll see if I can get some nice shots. My tired girly just come up. <laughs> Say good morning. Good morning. Did I wake you up? Yeah. So are you happy about that? Because we get to do more swimming, don't we? That's a massive swim. Uh, Isla loves the swim pool. Um, so overall, my um, what's our review on the hotel so far? I think it's good. Out of five stars, five being the most, and four, or ten stars, ten being the most, and one being the least. How many stars would you give? You'd give it ten. Yeah, I, I actually think it's amazing. The service is probably the best service I've ever had in a hotel. Um, the food, oh my goodness, the food is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and I can tell you my favourite food. What's your favourite food? The Gessie The Gessie is it? Yeah, actually, um, the restaurant the other night, the steak restaurant, yeah. the fish that you had. That was so nice. And our puddings, they were really good, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. You love chocolate ice cream. Although, we went, to cho we went to an ice cream place yesterday where they threw the ice cream, didn't they? Yeah, and, and they, they dropped it once. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um, so yeah, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, we're going to do a funny challenge, probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, guys, and we'll see you in a bit. Um, which is 90 minutes long, so I'm really excited. Um, and Simon's just gonna have a bit of chill out time because it's 4 pm here, um, so he's gonna have some chill out time with the kids. And then I'll come back and we'll get ready to start for dinner. So hopefully, I'll get some shots in the spa, but I haven't got my photographer with me, so we'll see. How beautiful is this? Wow. Just walking back from the spa, I legit fell asleep. That was like one of the best massages I've ever had. So anyone planning to come here, definitely book in for a massage. Um, quite a lot of money, but so worth it. So, wow. Hello. Hello. Out for dinner. Little sunburnt faces. Yeah. What are you having for dinner, Ina? Um, mac and cheese. What are you having for dinner, Oscar? Macaroni cheese with double ice cream. With double ice cream? What with your macaroni? I mean double, double, triple, double cheese or triple. Mm. Pasta! Good morning. Hey. <laughs> Look at your hair. 
So what day is it today? Sunday, day four. Yeah. Um, we didn't end up going to the beach yesterday because when we got there it was super, super, super hot and not a lot of shade. And there was a massive jelly blue fish. Yeah, there was a huge jellyfish, um, so that put us off a little bit. And it was absolutely boiling, so we didn't. Um, excuse how tired I looked this morning. I started editing our vlog last night. I was up till about midnight doing that. We're gonna try and book a camel ride today. Obviously, I can't ride on a camel, but we're gonna try to just have a chill out evening. The kids wanna go in the pool. So this pool here is 24 hours, so the kids can go in the pool in the evening, so we promise them a um, evening in the pool and also we have a really really fun challenge going on today Isla really wanted to do this it's actually a joint joint idea um, but she's always asked if we can do a challenge and I thought it'd be quite fun to do when we're on holiday and I'm not I'm a bit scared about it but um, Isla and Oscar get to choose what I eat for a whole day so they'll choose like one thing each at breakfast and then one thing each at lunch and one thing each at dinner um, so yeah, should be quite fun. I imagine I'm gonna feel absolutely sick by the end of the day because they'll just choose me things that children like. Um, and if any of you know me, I'm very much, um, when I'm on holiday, I'm very much a salady person, I really eat lots of fruit and vegetables. Um, so, and then we get yeah, to choose or, whatever we eat. So, yeah. so we don't have to eat any fruit. So yeah, we're gonna go and do that and we shall catch you a bit later. Yay. Go Nyla. What's over here? These ones? So, should we show everyone what we've got? Yeah. Okay, so th this is what everyone got for me. So, Isla put the three pancakes with honey and chocolate sprinkles. And also, um, scrambled eggs, the bacon and the um, sausage. And Oscar put the boiled egg. <laughs> so, I've got a bit of scrambled egg, turkey sausage, how many sausages have I got? Three sausages, a piece of bacon and an egg. This is way, 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 way more food than I would normally eat for breakfast and I don't really like sweet breakfast. So, yeah, three sausages, bacon, eggs, and three pancakes. I'll eat it, but I'm gonna feel sick after. Tell everyone what you just said when I said it'll make me fat. What did you say? You're already fat. <laughs> Why am I already fat? Because I'm <laughs> I ate every single bit and I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. So I would never normally choose that. I would normally have like an omelette or eggs and meat, um, no bread, no pancakes, um, just really healthy tomatoes, fruit. Um, but yeah, that was really, really nice. So we'll see if I get a sugar high in a minute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, happy. I'm happy that she hasn't chosen the awful thing. I actually like the chocolate sprinkles. The chocolate sprinkles with the egg and the bacon went really well, so I'm happy. Is it? Let's have a look. It's a hermit crab that I found. Out? Aww, so cute. We have come back to the room, um, the swimming pool by the room, because the beach was just so hot. Um, it was lovely, but and you get sand and everything, so the kids are playing. Isla's found a mermaid friend, and then me, Oscar, and Simon are just playing catch. Then we're gonna get some lunch, and then we're getting picked up at about 3 p.m. to go to the desert. So we've got room service for our lunch, because we're getting picked up at three o'clock for the um, camel ride. We didn't want to miss out on swimming time, so Isla has ordered me a pizza. So we're gonna share this with Oscar pretty happy with, uh, with her choices so far. So I've got a pizza for lunch. I mean, again, I would have a salad. I tend to eat more in the evening, so I have like really healthy breakfast and lunch and then a big evening meal. But um, I've had carbs, carbs and more carbs today, but it's not too bad. A pumpkin, it's a brain inside. I've got this fruit platter. And what are you gonna make me eat, Isla? This. Ugh. It's a brain inside. I, I think you spat the other one out. Would you eat this? Oh, I 
we eat it when we eat it. It looks like it's alive. Look, the pizza is chopping. Look, the pizza is chopping. It tastes nice, but might taste alright, but the texture's gross. Look, pizza You try it. I tried this too, which is was not very nice. I think this is a dragon fruit. It but is, it's a dragon strawberry. Oh, just the texture. I love it. I guess. We're just on our way to get picked up to go to the desert on the hottest day imaginable. It's been 37 today. Yeah. I'll be looking hot. Very hot. <laughs> not temperature. <laughs> oh, I <like> temperature. <laughs> Kitties. Dragging behind us, Per. Come on, Oscar. Where are we going, Isla? To the desert. Hey, Miss camels. Style Queen. Very fashionable today, didn't you, Oscar? To the desert to do a camera. <laughs> right, so we'll see you when we get there. One thing I've learned about trips like this is you need lots and lots and lots of money because uh, they just want to sell you everything, don't they guys? Yeah. And we didn't bring any money with us. They do stuff and then they tell you how much it is after, don't they? Which is fine, but we didn't bring any cash. So thankfully our lovely driver has um, lent us loads of money since we've been here and we've got to go to the cash machine on the way home and pay him back. So that's all right. Um, and we're just waiting for um, food and then I think, can you see that stage? Some dancers are gonna go up there. Have you had a nice time? Yeah. Oscar? Yeah. What have you done? Oh, Oscar's got sand in his eye. He hasn't been crying. What have you done so far though? Quad biking camel. Quad biking camel. What's your favorite either? Camel back riding. Did you not think, did you not feel sad for the camels? What do you mean? I felt really sad for them. Why? Because I felt like when they were making that noise, they were like going, oh, like, had Basically, enough of this. Uh, and daddy's too heavy. my favourite part then. Yeah. I think, I mean, they're meant to take people, but it is a bit sad that they have to do that all day long. And? Um, Show me. Wait, show me what you were doing. <laughs> so we're back from the safari, uh, safari desert. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. Bit of uh, burn. <laughs> uh, better now. Better now, yeah. It was really nice. I've got a chamomile tea. Look at the difference. In my favourite outfit of the day, which is the uh, robe. <laughs> um, and the kids are in the pool. So we promised them they could go in because the, the pool's 24 hours, which was really, really cool. Um, so another reason you should come here. I'll just show you. Oh, wow. Is that fun? Yeah. Oscar, are you having fun? Now we're happy we're back. Children are swimming at nine o'clock at night. I'm gonna edit this video and then go to sleep. <laughs> Bye. So that is it. That's the end of the first part of the vlog. Sorry if it was so long. Um, it's our final day. The children have actually gone to kids club. It's a little bit overcast, I'll show you. It's still super, super warm. Um, they've gone to kids club, um, which is the first time they've been in since we've been here, Oscar's asked to go in every day because that's what he's like. Um, but but we haven't felt the need to. But because it was overcast today, we thought 
we would put them in and then, <laughs> this is gonna sound really boring, take some photos. So my friend told me before I um, went away, you have to put a photo on your Instagram every single day. Um, so trying to take photos when you've got the children is actually really, really difficult because um, you can't take loads, you've just got to take a couple and hope for the best, hope there's one in there. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go and take some photos and then we're going to just chill out. It's still totally warm enough, I've still got a bikini on. Um, I've got my pretty little thing bikini on today. My little bump. So yeah, so we are just chilling. Um, take some photos and that's it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, Again, sorry if it was really, really long. I tried to get everything in and tried to compress it as much as possible. Uh, we moved to a new hotel today, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And we will vlog that. That's gonna be um, a really nice experience. It's one of the Jumeirah chains. So it's called the Jumeirah Al Nassim. Um, I'm gonna do a review on this hotel as well. Um, but my final conclusion of this hotel is it's absolutely fantastic. Anyone with children wanting to come here, um, please do. The kids club that we've just dropped the children off is really, really good. And she said, oh, you can leave until seven o'clock tonight. Obviously, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna leave in two hours. The staff here, that is probably the best part. The staff are absolutely amazing. You cannot walk past the member of staff without them saying good morning, which is really nice. The food is incredible. I would say, so we had half board, so our breakfast is included every day, and it was a buffet. I've got no issue with the buffet but I would have preferred to have had like an a la carte option for breakfast um, because it was a bit, it's a bit busy. I find buffets really busy, and I, which is okay, but if we could maybe sit down and order, I just prefer that experience when I'm eating out. Um, but the other restaurants, the great thing about the half board option is that the bookable restaurants, you can get in, and I know that sounds really weird, but any other all-inclusive resort I've stayed with before, like when I've stayed with Tui, in some really nice resorts you cannot book because people rush to book and then there's no space which makes it kind of not a nice experience you end up eating in the buffet every night um so yeah you can book the restaurants there they're obviously free including your package which is amazing um yeah everything about this place is fantastic but i'm really looking forward to the next hotel to see what it's got to offer so thank you so much for watching um if you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and also turn the notification bell on so it notifies you of any new videos i've got um i'll be doing another dubai vlog after this so our second part um and then i promise to keep up the videos um when i get home it's just quite difficult to do when we're away so yeah thank you so much again bye